All right, just opened the Amazon box, and this is what I have been waiting for. It's the v VK1560, so I'm going to go ahead and open it up and show everyone. The reason I've been waiting for this is this is the tablet that's actually a tablet display, so that you're drawing right into the actual display. So, there was the, uh, well, thank you, very packed, well, nice foam. Which would make sense, because again, you don't want things moving around. So in this thank you, it gives you the basic instructions on where to download the drivers, where to get everything that you would need in order to set it up, which I'll be setting up a little later. All right, very nice. It came with a mini display port to HDMI adapter. That's helpful. One of the Reet Artist Gloves, which is nice. I've gotten that in other display tablets from V. Okay, the stylus, which is listed here in a very nice box actually. Wow, look at that. So this is going to be one of the nib removers so that you can actually remove the nib and add the other ones. This is probably the nicest stylus that they make, which would make sense. This is like their flagship display. Over here, you'll see we have the different types of stylus. So each one of these will give you a different type of feel, and then you've got plenty to replace as you go through, and you know they do wear down over time. So it's nice that they include all of those. Microfiber cloth, so that way you can clean the display. So the power adapter, that's gonna be the power adapter cord. This is our HDMI cord and then our USB cord. So this box contains all of the accoutrement, as it were. Now let's see the beauty itself. Again, packaged very, very well. There's a little quick start guide. Let's open this up. So, I'm going to show you what it looks like as we've unboxed it, and then later I will go ahead and get it set up. So, very, very nice. A little bit of dust. This is a protector on the screen right there, so that way if you did see any type of uh, variation or anything on it, there's no actual issue with it. They leave the protector on until you're ready to go. Um, so I would not worry at all about, you know, it getting damaged on its way to you. It's packed super well. The box that came from Amazon was even larger, so there's no problems with it or anything like that, so they keep it protected all the way through. So they've got two different multi-layer foam pieces all around it, your regular stat display bag on top of it, all of the pieces there, and then, of course, another protector over the main screen before you even get it. So that's very nice. So you get quite a bit there. So let's get it set up and see how it works. So real quick, before I continue getting it set up, I just wanted to show you one of the features on the back here, which is how this, the adjustment legs work, which is actually really neat. So when you hold this button here, it allows this to freely move. So you can set to the exact angle that you want in order to use it to start your, your artwork, your illustration, whatever it is that you're working on it with. So from the back here, you can say, just press this, let it lean down, it'll go down, and then it stays as soon as I release it. And then if I want it up more, if I want a higher angle, I can bring it up further, and then it'll stay at the angle that I set it at. So it's really quick to adjust, but it's actually really sturdy. So I can press down when I'm taking this, when you're obviously going to be working, doing your artwork, etc. You don't want to worry about it shifting a lot, and it's not going to. So it's really stable right here. All right, now that we've got everything set up, I just want to go through a couple of the features real quick that really set this apart. Now, you'll see that the tracking is fantastic. So it follows really quickly to the stylus. I mean, spot on, which is what you need, especially if you're doing illustration, etc. Now, one of the very important things for digital art, of course, is pressure sensitivity. This particular tablet has a 8K pressure sensitivity. So you can see if I just very lightly 
add pressure, we get very light color. And then the harder that I increase the pressure, we get a little bit more color and more color. I'm using an oily type brush here, so you'll actually see that it handles the brush resolution very well, which is also important when you're working on the screen that the stylus quickly adapts and can draw with the brush. And so you'll see bigger brushes. Sometimes you have an issue with that, which you don't have here. And so the more pressure I add, the better it does. And then of course, if I just lightly move up, you'll see I can start drawing the color up there. And then if I press in, I can actually recolor these areas. So that is super incredible as far as responsiveness and of course the pressure sensitivity. Now, one of the things that always fascinates me is that one of my more expensive tablets, its dial wheel really does not do well when you get to brush size. So in this case, the 1560 by Vic really, really quickly adjusts the brush size, which is very impressive to me because of the fact that, uh, well, I won't name the brand, but another tablet actually cannot quickly adapt to that. Now, me personally, I like to drag out the brush size and adjust it on the fly. One of the neat things that I can do with this one that, again, I can't do with other tablets is I can set multiple special keys to the hot key. So in this case, Control and Alt allow you to drag out your brush size for Corel Painter. So what I'm going to do is I've already mapped that to this key up here, and all of these are customizable. You can hot map these to pretty much anything that you want. So in this case, I can just go here and then I can drag out the size. So I can get a much smaller brush if I want, or I can make it into a much larger brush. And again, you see, quickly handles that. Now, another thing that is super important for any digital artist, at least for me, especially in painting, is of course the ability to undo and redo things. So as you can see, I can quickly go in and undo the last lines we made, again, mapped to this hotkey. And then I have this key here map to the redo so I can bring them back if I want it. So let's go back to here. Now, one of the other things that is really important for me, and we'll go ahead and adjust the brush size here so it's not so large, is that I'm able to sample colors as I go. And again, on other tablets I've had, I have not been able to do that. And that's one of the reasons that I am so impressed with this particular tablet is the fact that I can actually go in and get the sample by just assigning a single special key. Other tablets require you, if you're making a special key, that it has to be combined with another one. But in this case, uh, sampling colors is through the Alt key. So let's uh, do a little bit of color here, do some of this yellow and maybe uh, a little of this red here. And the reason that we're doing that is you'll see that I can now go in and sample through those shades very quickly and easily. So now I can go over here and get some of that blue and red that we created to get a new color there. I can go over here and get the lighter blue and then repaint there. And it's just incredible.